Hello everybody and welcome to a special series of episodes of Love Let's Play Heaven's Ward. If I can English today, that would be absolutely lovely. So we're gonna talk to this fellow right here, right outside the airship dock. Sky pirates, huh? I've seen a fair bit of trouble. I've been through a lot of crap. Track down your missing airship? Oh no! Well, how about we call on our friends, uh, Master Garland, uh, Biggs, Wedge, their little posse? Um, they're very skilled in airships, so maybe they could help you track it down. But I, I have yet to hear of these sky pirates you, you speak of. I mean, I, I've flown up in the sea clouds a couple times and nothing's ever happened to me or my airships. All right, all right, calm down, buddy, calm down, buddy. Have you filed a an official report with the Temple Knights, sir? Do they do, they do that sort of thing? Well, it's technically the Temple Knights are the military, not the cops, but... Oh, got kind of the closest thing we have. Who are the cops in... in... in Guard? I mean, I suppose it might be the Temple Knights for all I care. Place is probably under martial law. I have no idea. I am just making stuff up, you guys. When do I ever know what the heck I am talking about? So, hello. Are you a are you a sir or are you a madam? Okay, you are a sir. Oh, good. Then you may help us then, right? Okay. Okay. Alright. Sounds good to me. You keep your eyes peeled. So, so perhaps we have a drunken pilot on hand? Maybe? I don't know. I do not know, Sam I am. Yeah, well, this is not usually a place where an airship usually docks. What do you mean, too easy? You're not looting, are you? Uh, uh, excuse me, this loot belongs to somebody. Sir, would you like me to kick their asses? Uh, they're already plundering. Uh, I don't think I know. Perhaps we have not met, perhaps you are not familiar with me. I am the Warrior of Light, and kicking ass is my day job. Would you like to meet my fist? How about the tale of how the Warrior of Light kicked the shit out of three Sky Pirates and then they ran with their tail between their legs? I like that one a little better. I mean, can you see how majestic I am? My hair clips through my neck. Um, hi. I, I believe I know the designer of that kind of ship. Who are you? Good name, what? I believe, sirs, you are looting and pillaging this poor merchant's goods. I don't think this other gentleman takes kindly to that. Nor do I, at point of fact. No, we can have hard feelings. I like you already.
Yeah, have you met my friend Hilda? You'd probably get along very well with her. So what are you? Some kind of some kind of um, mercenary? Um, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Um, God, I can't. Oh my God, words are so failing me right. Vin vigilante. That's the word I'm looking for. Thank you, brain. Uh, you know who I am? Yeah, yeah, I know them. They're my friends. Oh? Well, I'm hanging out in Ishgard. All you had to do was uh, send word, and I'm sure Sir Emmerich would, would send a memo to my way. You know, one of my friends uh, works as a waitress, entertainer, cook, something, whatever, at the Forgotten Night. Uh, she would have got word back to me. Lots of ways to get a hold of me. I am an adventurer, after all. Be nice to get away from politics. And all that. And those smelly ish guardians, some of which who are extremely ungrateful for all the things I have done for them. Not everyone, but some of them. Some of them. So hopefully that guy makes it way back to his uh, buddy boss, who, whomever, in in Ishgard to let him know that his goods are safe, or at least what's left of them. It's hard to say what may or may not have been actually pillaged and gotten away with by those guys. Probably not a lot, considering we likely interrupted him in the middle of the act, but who knows what kind of small trinkets they might have pocketed. I mean, they probably poured, stole that poor bastard's wallet. Well, I don't see what's his face, but I see a little mana cutter here. Um, I you said you did not tell me that you guys were starting to mass produce those. And did, did you guys figure out the problem with the uh, the whole need to be in an area full of wind aether? I mean, I'm sure this place might apply. I I I don't know. I never actually tested this. Um, yes, I was invited. Uh, yeah, did he not give you a vague description of how I looked? You know, black pigtails, red dress, anything? Traveling with the chocobo over here? Nothing? Nothing? Okay. Alright. Alright, Stacia. So apparently my own ship does work up here. Okay, good. I mean, I know it works in the overworld because gameplay story segregation, but story-wise, they told us this place only works when there's a shit ton of wind expected aether. Just pointing that out. Uh, do we not want to turn the motors off on these things? Uh, uh, can, can we, like, tie them down to this airship dock, I guess, somehow? Or maybe since they're, they're, they're run on Aether, maybe you really like, can't stop me. I don't know, I'm literally just making stuff up at this point. So, so, is, is the, like, the red-tinted goggles kind of your thing? Uh, 
Uh, hi, who are you? Uh, did we have a rival rivalry here, I guess? Okay, just fuck him already. Alright, get that over with. No, I'm just gumkin. Hi. Uh, hi, I'm the Warrior of Light. Who are you? Throw her off the edge! God, if she's not invited, kick her out! I mean, I guess that's not our way, but... Uh, excuse me, Mr. Talon, sir, you are on their turf. You are in no condition to be calling the shots. Just saying. Uh, where'd you get all this loot? I mean, I know you didn't say you, didn't, you don't take the rub and poor people and whatnot, but, um... Uh... Ghost ship? What the hell? You know, usually when you hear the term ghost ship, they mean like a ship that, you know, like doesn't always appear and just like, like seemingly disappears and disappears out of nowhere. Not one that's really just cursed. I mean, I, I, I guess it still works in this context, but... No, 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 not the fucking Allianz, okay? No, no, I'm sick of their shit. How can you be sure there's any treasure in there? I mean, seriously, uh, you, maybe you guys don't know about this because it's it's kind of been hidden and probably been cloaked for thousands of years. Yeah, there, there, there's this huge, like, flagship and a bunch of islands, like, floating in the sky of Elegant Design. Yeah, we didn't find shit up there, so, yeah. Of course I'm an adventurer. You not pay attention to me five minutes ago, bro? Sure, why not? New friends? Okay. I'll deal. So I can't help but notice part of your logo incorporates the mana cutter design. So who's the one who recently designed your logo? Because these mana cutters certainly aren't that old. And there goes my chocobo. Not that it matters. Hi, I don't believe we've met, good sir. Hi, um, Master Sid Garland. And, well, technically it was his own crew, uh, inventor of these mana cutters whom you guys are apparently so very fond of driving. Not, 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 not to undermine the abilities of your engineer. I'm sure she's probably good. That's fine. That's fine. I can respect that. Totally respect that. Okay, so nobody has anything now. So, Utata! What do you have for me? 
Do you mind showing me a little feat of your engineering skills? Perhaps something you've invented or fixed up or modified? No, you're just Wedge's height. You know, you might get along very well with him. I know his, ta his heart is taken by Tataru right about now. But uh, maybe he will be swayed by a lady with a common interest. Just saying. No, I don't ship that. I'm just making stuff up. Okay. Well, doesn't pretty much everything have a unique etheric signature? Okay, we're... You people and your silly names. Of course we're gonna pay our engineer, don't you worry. Well, assuming we even find treasure there, but... Oh, thanks! Just throw me under the bus, would you? Sh you know, ship that supposedly no one ever comes back from, or you haven't heard from anyone. Yeah, right, right, thanks. I mean, I know I've risked my life for worse, but... Where is my promise of the art of the treasure? So, is it visible in the sky right now? I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know where it is. But, uh, it is... The Void Arc, obviously, is the ghost ship they are speaking of. And it is... There it is. Right over there. Right over there. Wait, no, that's an island. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. I really don't. Um, but it is visible at certain times of the day in the sky, both in the sea clouds, and, uh, it is visible from the churning mist as well. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I can't see very well. Uh, my PS4 does not play very well with this TV, so it's very dark. Uh, it doesn't obviously show that way on the footage, but, uh, from my perspective as I'm doing this, it becomes very difficult to see something sometimes. So, we get to enter Le Voidar! Hooray! The, the supposed quote-unquote ghost ship, which is the first of our 24-man raids for Heaven's Ward. Hooray! So here is our quote-unquote ghost ship, and damn if this place doesn't look a bit creepy. That ominous music, everything's black and purple, and what the fuck is this shit? Um. Okay then. Right. Okay, there's one of those creepy flying manta ray things. All right. So, damn, I haven't been in this place forever. But yeah, up in the top, we're kind of exposed to the elements up here. It's probably a little bit cold in here as a result. But we're tough, we're warriors. Um, of light, anyway. Yeah, I'm sure we can handle it. It's pretty normal that these birds are in here. Um, with, are they a part of this ghost ship, which is apparently inhabited? Or did they just fly in here? Because those are on this part of the zone. Okay, and now we have griffins who are also part of the zone. Okay, these creatures like fly in here looking for food or something? I, I don't know. And what the hell is tearing this place up? Is it just, a, just from sitting up here in the atmosphere? Like, what's going on here, guys? What is going on? I mean, I'm not so sure that this, this is Oligon in origin, because there's purple on the floor, and the Oligons were much more known for their blue and kind of silvery guy. Now, now, obviously, yes, I know exactly the origin of this thing. I'm just, I'm just playing along. Just play along, guys. But yeah, very distinctly. Oh, look at the spikes. Like, Jesus. 
This place is just creepy. Oh, this thing again. Like, is this thing having a good time coming after me or what? It, okay, now we have shark thingies. Okay. Not sure I quite get it, but... Oh, how convenient. We have debris falling and giving us a path downward. Sweet, I'll deal with it. Keeps me from breaking my neck. I suppose it'll work. Oh, so we get to fight this thing, huh? Huh? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Look at this giant creepy manta ray thing. It's like, why you trespass on my domain? So yeah, if you can't obviously can't tell, yes, this place is inhabited. But by what? Are these old Alagon Chimeras? Probably not, because this doesn't look anything Alagonish, but the Alagons were also sick fucks, so maybe this is the product of their older days. I mean Leofard. I don't like saying his name because I'm afraid I'm gonna say fart. Seems to think it might be Oligon in origin, and who knows? I mean, the Oligons were around for a while. Maybe this is kind of an older design of theirs. Who knows? Who the hell knows? I mean, I know, but again, play along, guys. Play along. So this is probably the one fight in here that's actually... Well, this is old content and everyone's over here for it now, so it's not that big of a deal. That was actually... I wouldn't say hard to heal, but could be challenging because your party members tended to stand in crap. Like these puddles actually leave a debuff on you if you stand in them, like this thing right here. So it's kind of a pain in the butt to deal with. But we'll be fine. See, look at these like, just floating shark things. Kind of weird, but I I've seen weirder, I suppose. I'm really, not really gonna question this too much. I mean, I am fighting a giant flying manta ray. So, yeah. Oh, they got pops! Oh, it's so cute! I love how he just like just smacks his body against the floor. He's like, oh, I'm gonna crush you to death. Guys, seriously, every time he lands, he does this move. This is why this can I need to go back to the question. This is why it can be a pain in the ass to heal because you have people who do that kind of crap. It's like, oh well, I didn't see that coming. Yeah, he's got pretty much a serotation here, guys, so yeah. I get sucked in or out? Nope, out, okay. So he picks a random alliance to actually suck inwards. It's not the same alliance every time. Just one. And they only have one sphere to kill. We have four, but ours are tethered to him. It, thing, whatever. Uh, and for everyone they kill, it removes a stack of vulnerability from that thing in the middle. And occasionally, I've had I've had parties that are so good the thing is nearly dead before people have killed like any of the uh, the ones on the outside. It's pretty funny. Oh, and people aren't getting hit by the tail either. Yeah, that's predictable as well. And you would see a ton of people get hit by that all the damn time. It's like, come on, guys! Like, pretty much set rotation here. Not quite. Uh, he does have a move where you need to go out instead of in. If you know what's coming when. Like, every time, like every other move he does, he does a stupid tail swipe. Ugh. So, goodbye, Mr. Manta Ray thingy. And I'm just gonna greet everything. Because I can. Company seals. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna use them on, but why the hell not? So 
these glowy lanterns and everything. Which are flickering in and out. So now I guess we're inside because we can't see the outside anymore. I mean, that is what. Is that a coffin? Yeah, those are coffins! I mean, that is what inside means, but shh. Just playing along, just playing along. Gotta feign ignorance. It's more fun that way. Can't spoil everything. Not like the looks of these, like, plant pod thingies glowing in red on the f in the, up in the walls there. What well, these moths and bugs? How do these moths and bugs get in there? Where is my tank? Okay, you're over here. Time to throw some rocks at things. So I always feel like these things are gonna like blow and either like spew like bullets at me, like like bullet seeds, or they're gonna like spew goo at me, or, or perhaps they have like some kind of bug or, or you know, they're they're like cocoons of some kind. Who knows? Now this room is also annoying and I haven't even quite figured out how everything works in here. I know the pagans not, when you don't kill them in time, they will poison people. But this whole mechanic of uh, them, the deadly static and, and the air cleaning room, I, I've never really figured out how that whole thing actually works. But I haven't really cared all that much because the only thing that's of real importance is preventing the poison from taking place. Because that thing can do some nasty damage if the whole alliance gets poisoned. So yeah, how did the fuck did this, the morbles get in this place? Like, really? So, yeah, I like how it's nice and open here. And you can see the air below, and it's moving pretty fast. So apparently this airship has been moving. Well, this ghost ship, I should say. Shame I couldn't get a good shot of it in the sky. I really didn't think to. When I started recording this session. Mainly because in Expedition Tier, I had to clear my hard drive space before I could even actually start recording this. Because I just came off a previous recording session and holy shit, I looked at I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna make sure that, that everything's okay and, and make sure everything's backed up. And I'm like, yeah, uh, I'm like down to like 10 gigs of hard drive space. Whoops. So I just spent like an hour backing everything up. So yeah, more coffins in here. Thanks. This is a place like Hannah Haunted by vampires or something? Yeah, I see someone hasn't kept up with the electric bill in here. It's a plant puppy! Oh, look at him. He's so cute. What the hell is that thing? He's ugly cute, I'll tell you that, but... He's like Hydra meets puppy meets Bulbasaur. I don't get it, but... Props for uniqueness? I guess? Wherever this creature came from? I don't even know. I don't even know, guys. Okay, what healer in that other alliance put regens on people before a pull? Don't do that. That is very, very, very silly. So I like this fight, uh, mainly because you have to tank every. You have to tank both things separately. The tree doesn't really do anything. Not much, anyway. Well, this vine tree thing. Whatever. Uh, but one thing that's overlooked is, yes, you do want to kill these arc heads. Ugly mosquito, CC fly, whatever the hell you want to call it. And you don't want to get eaten by the plant. That's not cool. Or the plant puppy, I guess I should say. So eventually what's going to happen is... One of them is going to get an anti-magic debuff, and one of them is going to get an anti-range debuff. And it's random which one it is. So basically you have to pay attention to which uh, which one has what. 
and attack the correct one accordingly. And I am actually going to target the Sawtooth. Or focus target, that is. Now, we may end up skipping mechanics simply because we're, we're way over here for this. But yes, what's gonna happen is this, uh, this puppy is going to charge up for this massive stomp. We need to hide behind the tree, which is now immune from our damage, temporarily. But that also means we can use it as a shield. Now, it works to the wide guys. As soon as the shockwave stomp actually, uh, the cast bar disappears, you can come out from behind the tree. Uh, you don't have to wait until the animation goes off. That's never been how this game has worked, uh, with very few exceptions. I can't remember what the if what happens when you don't kill the bugs. Uh, I think the plant eventually grows and becomes immune or something, or uh, starts spewing these massive AOEs. I think something like that. All I know is it's bad news bears. You know, get away from me! Get away from me! Ah! I hate this crap. So yeah, you have to run into these tethers to break them. Uh, I, I can't remember if that mechanic has taken place before this. I know there's other mechanics that are similar, so... I... I honestly cannot say with any certainty if this is the first time or not. I never actually thought about that. Yeah, like normal, I, I am completely making shit up on the spot here. I did not plan what to say at all. I was just gonna take it as it is, so my commentary, even though I obviously have every idea of what exactly is precisely going on, um, kind of get a genuine reaction from me, especially since this particular raid I haven't done in a very long time. Very long time. Yeah, the plant will also poison you occasionally when you're standing in melee range, but uh, I'm not caring because it doesn't do enough damage, really. So once one falls, uh, the other one does get a vulnerability of a deep, uh, debuff, as well as removing the current immunity it did have, so that's cool. So what else we got in this place? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Coffins hanging from the ceiling? more ominous purple glow. What the fuck is this place? Oh my god, there's coffins everywhere. Is this one like the Oligons kept their dead or some shit? Like, really? That'd be kind of funny, though, if, this is, if it turned out this is where all the, like, especially if they were in, like, um, in like cryogenic suspension or, or, or something similar, if, if this was the final resting place of the Oligons, that would be utterly hilarious. So these Hellhounds can be annoying. I'm gonna just go stun them. Because, uh, they may not even get them off. That move right there, Abyssal Cry. It is an AoE, and I don't like it, and it's mean. And if they go off in chain, it could be bad news bears. Um, not really so much now, because now we're overgeared, but back then it, it really sucked. My controller keeps trying to target my keyboard down in the corner there. Why is someone trying to shoot me, or was that me shooting myself while I was trying to, um, it's my stupid controller slot and the damn keyboard problem. But yeah, maybe I want, don't want to stand in front of that guy. I'm not really paying attention to what's going on because I'm more paying attention to um, the fact that my controller's acting weird. Well, it's partially, partially my fault, but... but... Yeah, most of the time, yeah, I, 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 you can rise and probably tell I'm 90% of the time in battle, I am completely on autopilot. That's why I comment half a time on what the hell I'm doing, because it's me actually sitting down to think about what I'm doing for once, rather than just reacting. I am liking these, uh, these little, uh, these, not quite teleportation circles, but the means of transit. Oh, those are some interesting statues right there. My god, even this hallway is shaped like a giant coffin. 
carb or whatever the hell that word is. It's kind of creepy, but it's kind of endearing creepy at the same time. What the fuck is that thing? No, seriously, what the hell is that thing? Whatever it is, I'm gonna be seeing it in my nightmares. So this fight was another one that could be a pain in the ass if you did not know what you were doing. For white mages though, it is very simple. Keep up Medica 2 throughout the whole fight. There you go. Issue 100% solved. Get a little too close to that. And don't stand in the corrosive pile. It hurts. Like a motherfucker. Regardless, this bleed actually lasts throughout the entire fight. And it is why you want to keep some kind of regen active at all times. It will offset most of the damage. Not all of it, but most of it. So yeah, I like this mechanic of the deflating tentacles because it is an unmarked AoE, but it is clearly based on this hitbox. And it will give you a concussion if you get hit by it, so don't. I like how this fight is designed. Um, even though it is very healer intensive. No, oh, damn it. I thought I was not in Cleric Stance. I am. Now, okay, we gotta fix that. Okay. Alright, All right, I got everything I can control now. Alright. So, even though it is it is very healer intensive, um, and he non confident healers might struggle with this fight, especially if you have double skull. If you have double skull, you gotta help you here. Uh, not that it's not doable, but you're better with white mages or astrologians in this fight. But for once, like, the healers actually, actually have to do something, you know, like, there's a lot of unavoidable damage. You know, you gotta be a bit proactive about your healing so people don't die. It's not just the tank taking damage or individual party members, like, it's everybody, like, constantly throughout the fight. And I like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm a very much a balls to the walls DPSing healer. But at the same time, well, obviously I am still a healer. You know, I will obviously keep the party healed. So I love this, uh, foo bars. I prefer the other spelling of foo bar, but yeah. I'm just gonna leave that joke right where it is. So he can suck these babies up and he will get a buff for doing so, which you kinda don't want. Um, it's not the end of the world if he sucks up one or two, but for the lesser skilled healers, it is a problem. So is it actually going to have this mechanic happen? Yes, this right here. If you are standing on the floor when this goes off, you will die. Which is another mechanic I like. It forces people to actually pay attention to not get hit by something. It would be nice if everyone stands in my AoE healer ring. So this is what happens right here. Uh, pestilence. We'll do a crap load of damage to you if he actually ends up eating gelatos, flans, whatever you may wish to call them. Jelly pudding guys. And then the fight is pretty much just lather and repeat except that he will steadily gain these uh, bleed stacks. Now we're up to two. And eventually by failure to add to certain mechanics it will continue racking up. And yeah, people will start heavily falling at about five.
And yes, I have seen that. And boy, did like the eight of us who were still living uh, struggle to continue that flight. And finish it we did. And it was amazing. Uh, hi. Well, if that isn't cool and creepy at the same time. So where's the purple? I missed the purple. Man, a lot of people getting the achievement here. The queen's bitch, the queen of who? Where are we? What is this place? Oh, whatever. This thing's gonna die. You know, I haven't seen any treasure in here thus far. Although, I guess I am the one carving the path, so... And, and someone's bedchamber is where you might keep private and valuable goods, so... Maybe they're in here? I guess? Even as good a place as any, I think. I think. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just here as a sellsword. Sort of. Kind of. Did I even get any promises for what was going to be in here other than just a grand adventure? Like, am I going to get paid for this? Preferably in tacos or some sort of edible goods? You don't really get fed enough, and adventuring really works up an appetite. And no, I will not stop making jokes about that. You, like, never see the warrior, of, like, eat. I mean, they, they, do, they do make comments about food and drink here and there and everything like that. And I'm not expecting, obviously, the game to really get into the concept of us making sure we eat little three square meals a day, that kind of crap, but... I just want to be taken out to dinner every once in a while. Is that such a crime? So I like how this is split apart. Now the design here is each alliance is supposed to actually attack its own individual thing. Um, pro tip, well usually the snakes are split apart. They're supposed to be pro tip guys. Stand in the middle, if you're a caster, stand in the middle of the room. Because usually what happens is these snakes are usually separated on opposite sides of the room. And they bo will both can cast that, um, that, that magic vulnerability AoE. And if you stand in the middle, chances are high you'll miss one and or if not both of them. So you stand the most chance of, uh, not taking any damage whatsoever as a result. Just putting that out there. I'm not going to bother with this. Yeah, uh, refresh the effect in the little battle. It'll be over before it runs out. No worries. No worries at all. We have everything under control. We're probably going to miss half the damn mechanic. Oh my god, I hate these freaking blood guards. You know why? Because the tanks don't tend to actually go and tank them. And because the healers are usually DPSing in here because no one's taking fucking any damage. Combined with a regen on any of the tanks, they will pull aggro very quickly and find themselves very quickly uh, taking a couple sword hits to the face and ending up tanking the floor as a result. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's what we're missing before. Petrifaction! You can very easily tell who hadn't, has, and hadn't done coil before this. Is this initially add to punch release was actually before they started adding the universal symbol for gaze attacks. But people still get petrified anyway, because my dudes and them not paying attention. I don't think she does anything else. I don't think. I don't know. Again, it's been a very long time since I've been in here. 
Now she's gonna split up into snake skin. I like how this happens, how she both has forms entirely separate, even if she does suddenly just grow a gigantic ass uh, when she becomes the full creature. But who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? I very much like it though. Okay, Dragoon should not be tagging that, whatever it is. No, Cleric stands you. There we go. I was gonna say, I know I hit the Cleric stance button. Damn, heck of loss. But anyway, as I was going to say, both the Flame Wreath and her Petrifaction can be stunned. Probably should have waited to take that heal at Ray's brow. I mean, not that it really matters, because she's dead. Okay, I came in here for treasure. What do you got? I love how I'm getting like 8,000 of these memos on the screen at once, it's great. Alright, so what do we got for loot? Fucking three. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm not getting that minion. Uh, that's actually the only 24 main minion I don't have. At least on my main. I have the other four. Alright, so... What the heck is going on with this place? Where the heck am I? Okay, I, I believe treasure was promised one way or the other. Mayhap not necessarily to me, but... Oh, hey, wh where'd you find that? Oh, I got your booty right here. It's like an earthquake. Why would you be blaming her? You? How the hell did you get in here? Didn't I kick your kick your ass in Lost City? Uh, guys, I I, I think I'm the only one equipped to handle this. Uh, you might want to run. What the heck? I don't know. Demon bat looking thing? Or talking kitty? I, I think I'll take my chances with the talking kitty. Yeah, what he said. I mean, that also... Screw the loot! Escaping your lives, woman! I mean, it is also the way we came, so we might as well come out in a familiar path that we've already cut our way through. Well, you're not gonna make any sort of living if you end up dead. I mean, this- Look at this thing! Holy shit! Uh, guys, run. Dude, drop the chest, okay? Ain't got time for that crap. Uh, I hope we got those mana cutters ready to cut through any hole open to the atmosphere that this place has. I would certainly hasten our escape. So 
yes, in case you haven't guessed by the name already. Not so sure this place has anything to do with the Alagons, but more to do with the Void and Void Scent. Yeah, here's what the thing looks like. I couldn't get a... Sorry, I couldn't get a better shot. Again, hindsight 2020. Is this thing following us? Guys, maybe we not want to sightsee around this thing. Just run. I mean, there's coffins everywhere on this thing. Holy hell. What do you carry the ships breaking up? Why are we not, you know, using our time to run? I mean, how do you know he's not gonna fire a giant laser at us from that thing? It looks very ominous. Okay. I think we can file this one under a pure what the fuckery. the queen then wow a self-healing sky huh didn't think I'd see that Yes, let's! I think the past minute and a half or so would have necessitated to plan get the fuck out of here. Oh, that is a really long tail you have, Kitty. <laughs> 